I'm Brianna Sosa. Many Virginia distilleries have struggled to make a profit due to harsh ABC regulations. But Ragged Branch Distillery's unique combination of distilling and farming has kept them in business. One of the founders, Alex Toomey, says Ragged Branch grows its own corn and rye for its bourbon recipes and also raises cattle to sell meat in its retail store. That rare combination, Toomey says, saved them from steep losses. We were farmers before we were distillers. And the distilling process for us is just the middle of our total process. You know, we do it all right, we do it all right now, and we do it all old school and um, there's no shortcuts. Plus, the meat sales help Ragged Branch recover financial losses from what the owners say are unfair laws. Distiller Chris Coggin explains that they're only allowed to sell three ounces of liquor to customers, a restriction wineries and breweries do not face. It's, it's hard with the distillery side of things because of, you know, it's, it's a lot more strict than if it was a brewery or a vineyard. You know, it's just a high alcohol by volume content, you know, product. So the, the state puts a lot more regulations on it. Virginia has the third highest distilled spirits tax in the country and requires all sales to take place in government run liquor stores. How much does the ABC store take out of your profit? Just over 50%. Other states, it, it's a lot looser and you make a lot more profit but you know that's that's why, one of the reasons why it's so difficult to actually run a distillery in a state like Virginia. The distillery's customers have kept the business alive. They keep coming back because of the amazing views and the quality of the liquor. It's a great combination of, uh, of whiskey and, and geography. We love, the, we love the place and we love the creativity that goes into their drinks. Ragged Branch surprised the bourbon world with its quality when all five of its products won the San Francisco World Spirits Competition in March 2020. The win gave the distillery credibility and its sales increased by 40%. I'm Brianna Sosa reporting.